Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another wind power update video. Today is Wednesday the 28th of January and the time now is quarter past nine in the evening. Today has been very windy. It's been very windy all day long and I have some interesting readings to share with you. Outside we have the Rutland 913. I won't bother showing you the view outside because it's dark and you won't be able to see anything. But outside is the Rutland 913 wind turbine on a 10 foot pole at the bottom of the garden. Now at the moment, bear in mind that it is a six bladed turbine but due to a shortage of blade fixing screws it currently only has three blades installed at the moment so at the moment it only has three blades the weather, the weather outside has been very windy all day it's been pretty strong and pretty consistent and I have some interesting readings to show you okay I have rigged up a light here so you can see it's a 12 volt homemade LED light which is being powered from the 12 volt system. If I follow the cord it goes down there to the socket on my desk. So at the moment I'm running this LED light and this LED light and that's all I'm running at the moment. If I show you that the batteries, the battery bank is at 12 point well this meter says 12.8 if I take you to the charge controller meter you can see it says 12.75 volts so that's good right if I take you back to the wind charge controller controller board you will see some good things the green light is on on the left which indicates power is being generated by the wind turbine the orange LED is the state of the battery and it is well charged it's, it's as you know I just said the voltage is 12.75 when the battery is full the light is green so it's at night now so that's okay if the battery was very low it would go red so anyway the main thing is the green light is on on the left showing that we have power coming from the wind turbine so if I take you to the meter on the input you can see the following right today we peaked at 19 watts peak and that was a peak current of 1.37 amps so far we have generated just wait for it to come around 32.2 watt hours and that is when we put it to come around 2.828 amp hours as you can see the green light is on showing that we have power from the wind turbine or to be correct the green light comes on when the voltage from the wind turbine exceeds that of the battery bank so at the moment the battery is at 12.75 volts so every time the voltage on the wind turbine is above 12.75 volts the green light comes on which indicates we're charging the battery bank and as you can see if I just support myself here without knocking the light down I just let you see so we have Well over 13 volts coming from the wind turbine and you can see the watts coming in 
I've seen this go up, I see the light just gone out and the light's on again and you can see the power coming in 5.6 watts, 7.9, 7.9 and a half, 13 now so we're getting good good power from the Rutland 913 now this, these readings are good because as I said I only have three blades installed on the turbine at the moment now the turbine is still in balance because the blades are evenly spaced out so there's one blade in every other blade fitting hole there are six all the way around the hub so I simply used every alternate space for a blade at the moment I have ordered the screws and I'm waiting for the screws to arrive at that point I'll install the other three blades but I'm just showing you that the Rutland 913 even with only three blades is doing much better than the Rutland 504 so I'm happy with it so this is the first day that I've had some reasonably strong wind and I'm generating good power with it so even with the turbine with only just three blades and it's only on a 10 foot pole it's doing very well at the moment we're having very windy weather the wind is coming from the Arctic at the moment so it's very cold but it's also very windy so that's good now on the solar front if I just come down to the solar meter you'll see that today I peaked at 97.2 watts there was a peak current of 2.66 amps we produced 196 watt hours that was 5.489 amp hours now the main thing here is that um, now we're in the dark so we've got no solar power but my power is being generated by the wind turbine it can generate power 24 hours a day so it's been generating power all day and now it's continuing to generate power during the night so that was the main reason to get a wind turbine was to produce power when there was no sunlight so things are looking very promising so I think that when I have six blades on this turbine it's going to be very very good so things are looking up so we have the 91, Rutland 913 outside fed through my watt meter into the wind charge controller this is a HRSI wind charge controller it is actually a hybrid controller because it can also handle 160 watts of solar panels so it's a hybrid this one and you can see that the switch that is the, the run stop and run switch at the moment when the switch is down the batteries will be charged either by the wind turbine or the solar panels in the up, in the up position then there will be no charging and the wind turbine will be braked it will turn very slowly so and not produce any power so that is the wind part of the system so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Thank you.